Every time I experience a death in Requiem, my first response is, um, what did I do wrong? And uh, what can I learn from this? And so I sit and I think about it a while, and it usually means I'm the wrong level or I don't have the right equipment or something. So then I think about what do I need? And what I came up with that I need is I need to, first of all, level up, and I need to get better at heavy armor and blocking. Heavy armor and blocking, probably the things I need the most. I also want to go into uh, some magic, and the primary thing I want is I want restoration for healing aura, and I also want uh, protection from poison. I don't really want a lot from restoration. I just want uh, those very basic things. Something, and I, I don't want to uh, cast spells by changing outfits um, during the day. I want to just put a buff on in the morning and then maybe at the end of a fight, but I, I don't want to switch out to mage gear. So um, I don't even know if this is possible. I don't know how much the first perk in heavy armor is going to allow me to use magic, but that's my plan. So I'm planning on very low level magic spells uh, and nothing more. Trouble in White Run, and I'll pull you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. The other thing I need to do, well, I need to level up, and so here's how I approach that. I think about the different it's ways I can do something, here. and then I pick the one that's the most fun. So, you know, that varies. And um, the other thing I want is this perk, and I want this perk, um, which I usually don't take, but for this character, it seems like uh, it's a perfect fit. Um, and particularly two-hand heavy armor, it, it just seems like something that she would want. So uh, I'm going to do this perk. And then how am I going to level up? Well, it always comes down to this. Do the thing that's the most fun. So what I want to do is I want to level up, um, well, the health doesn't show up here on the MCM menu, but I need to level up poison resistance, magic resistance, and I need to get better at blocking. That, that's something that needs to happen. Um, here is a uh, neat quest I want to show you, or a neat thing you can do uh, to get an item that's really neat to have. So um, you can follow along with the dialogue in, hey, in this little section it's and get this uh, rather valuable this item. Day. I always uh, go around with ah, a... Um, a honey brew mead that I can exchange um, to get this uh, to get this item. It's kind of cool. So anyway, just follow along with the dialogue. So anyway, I I I decide what is it that might be fun, and then I do that thing as long as it's fun. So what I mean by that is sometimes I want to kill all the mud crabs in Skyrim, and sometimes I don't want to kill any. It it varies game to game. Sometimes I want to steal and sometimes I don't. And it also varies by the character. So Lasgar is not going to do Boethia's quest and she's not going to do the mace of Molag Ball. She hates Molag Ball. There's not a chance she'll do anything with him. So what is it that she's going to do? Well, to learn blocking and timing of the block, uh, I'm going to go fight some mud crabs. In the last couple games, I didn't want to fight any mud crabs, but I thought it would be fun here. So I'm working on the timing of two-handed blocking is basically what I'm doing. And I'm also in the process going to level up blocking and heavy armor, which is, you know, two things I really want to do. Blocking, heavy armor, their priorities, getting magic resistance, and getting poison resistance. So I'm not going to have fun with heavy armor till it gets to 50. So I know that. And I'm not going to have fun till I can get my timing down with two-handed weapons. And so you can see I'm working on that. And uh, I could have just gone and consoled a character and gone out and practiced. But I wanted Lasgar to do it. And if she died doing this, that would have just been, you know, that would have just been the price. I want to also want to see how much damage I can take with my new armor and heavy armor rating. And when I block, how much I'm able to block. So this perk gives you stamina and also additional carry weight and um, if you take a look at the carry weight and and it's a really really good perk i think at 50 heavy armor becomes a lot of fun at 75 it's heavy armor is great and at 100 it's just crazy fun so yeah you can see the stamina went up and 
If we take a look at carry weight, carry weight went up nicely too. So th those are two really ni nice things with that perk. Arguably, the evasion perks are better, but you know that that's uh, great for this character, and I'm happy to have that. In the process of practicing for just a little bit, and I, I think I'm pretty much done with mud crabs. Um, again, the thing to do is if you feel like fighting mud crabs, fight mud crabs, and if you want to fight, kill every mud crab in Skyrim, do it. And if you don't, then don't. Find something else to do and play your game. If you want to just buy training, fine. If you want to just talk to people, do that. But do what it is that you want to do and play your game. And there's always, there are always many ways to accomplish anything you want to accomplish in Requiem. So anyway, I, I showed you the two-handed tree. I'm, I'm not making great progress there. But I really want this overpowering bash. And... Overpowering bashes, um, this character is going to be about blocking and power bashing. Uh, not about, I, I don't like dodging. Even when I play one-handed evasion characters, I don't like dodging. I like to just charge in and attack and block. I wanted to take some damage here because I also want to level restoration. And so I picked up some damage, which leveled heavy armor. And um, and then I'm going to go back and level Restoration a little bit. And you can level Restoration with just um, uh, Healing Aura. You just cast Healing Aura over and over again. And I'll do this. I'll eat, um, I'll eat something and cast a spell and then eat something. And the cool thing about um, the bestial races or, or races with strong stomachs is you can eat raw meat, so you can just eat it, you know, have a big pile of raw meat and hotkey it and cast spells all day. So, which is easy to do in towns if you've taken some damage. So anyway, I've decided I want restoration um, for a couple of spells, just a couple. You really don't need restoration as a heavy armor character. A couple of low-level potions is probably good enough. I've decided that, um, you know, I want to, uh, I've played with mud crabs and I'm pretty much done. And again, there are many ways to do anything you want to do. And I'm finally playing this overpowering dashes, which is something I want to do. I want to, I want to practice bull rushing too. Bull rushing is really powerful and a tremendous weapon for heavy armor characters. So, um... I decide that uh, I wanted to play with mud crabs, and I did for a while, and my philosophy is do what you want to do as long as you're having fun doing it, and then when you want to do something else, do that. It's your game. So now I want to play with bandits. I'm gonna put you down! That, we're routed! Both. So power attack worked really well. And bull rushing, particularly against guys in light armor, is just really deadly. And that worked about as well as I could have hoped. The only thing with bull rushing is you have to charge. There's a timing thing to it. You have to sprint for, I think it's two seconds, maybe three. And some wolf hearts. I'll take that. So you have to sprint for two seconds, maybe three. And... Um, you can't swing right away, so there's a timing thing. Every game, I think I'm going to use this place as a home, this location. This is really a cool fort, and so I let this guy live. He's going to be my, like, my guard at the front door. And look at all these mushrooms. And so I'm going to come back and get all this stuff later, all these mushrooms. And this really is like a cool place with lots of storage. I would really like to use this place. So I hit, um, I'll hit a wall to get NPCs to come to me. Or uh, another thing that works really great is alteration. Koznak has taken a seat because um, he's an idiot. So I know that they know I'm here, but uh, can't get him to come to me. And then finally they come. And Koznak does a lot of damage. Knock him 
And there's a um, trying to do a bull rush and failing because it didn't sprint long enough. So I don't want to charge into these guys, I want them to spread out and so I can surprise them when they come around the corner. And Koznak picked up, I, I don't know how followers do that, but they pick up a, they pick up stuff that's lying around. And he picked up, I didn't give that thing to him, that, uh, that staff to him. Okay, fire is a surprise. And I don't have a lot of magic resistance. So, lesson learned from previous spider death. Uh, take a look at your potions and uh, pick some things that are going to help you stay alive. So, some magic resistance, and here's some fire resistance. 18% is fine. And what happened there was... Uh, I started to swing on Koznak and then turned really quickly and happened to hit the bandit's hitbox. And I'll take that wolf heart, thank you very much. I take a look at the uh, all the effects that are up and I'm going to go fight the bandit boss outside. So I'm going to be smart about this and hit some potions before I go outside to fight. And I want to charge right into this guy. Is, is someone there? Okay, I wasn't able to bull rush him, and I should have blocked and didn't. Very lucky he didn't power attack. That adept robe is great because I want to ca start casting restoration spells, so that'll be helpful. That was a nice find. And I don't want to invest in magic, so, or at least not very much, the absolute minimum that I have to. And this is just a beautiful view, and I always intend on using this as a home and coming back here and enjoying the view, and it just somehow never happens. Maybe in some future game. So I'm going to test this out, put on some mage stuff, and just see how this works. Not bad, and restoration really levels fast early on. So I want to go into alteration and get uh, magic resistance, and I want to go a little deeper into restoration, level it a bit, and get cost down. And so those are two things that uh, I also want to do. And also enjoy uh, this character starting to come along, starting to level, starting to get some good perks. So I want to just enjoy the view and uh, kind of relax and celebrate a little bit that uh, that uh, had an adventure, an adventure or two, and it went really well. See you next episode.